Tourists coming from cities drive for hours on end for the promise of fresh air and the beautiful scenic beaches of Dingalan Aurora, the very last town at the end of the road. Meanwhile, almost everyone passes straight through Gabaldon. In my opinion, the landscape of Gabaldon is more beautiful than that of Dingalan. There is so much potential for hiking and other attractions for those who love the outdoors. There's already so much to do in Gabaldon, but most of it's not advertised. You have to be friendly and talk to people to find stuff. The municipality of Gabaldon used to be densely forested and only inhabited by animals and Dumagat, the native tribal peoples of this region. In the late 1800s during the Spanish occupation, nearly 25% of what we now refer to as Gabaldon was owned by one man. Upon the arrival of the Americans, the estate was abandoned by its owner, so the government took control of the vast estate. The land was developed for rice plantations before being converted into a homestead, available for anyone to claim so long as they could develop and inhabit their claimed portion. This is how the Gabaldon of today came to be. Vast, open farmland, beautifully revealing the rolling green mountains from all directions. Today I will be exploring a barangay in Gabaldon known as Bagong Sikat, on my bicycle with no real destination in mind, just exploring and making photos wherever I see an opportunity. Hello, Bob. Mm -hmm. 